Alright folks, Pitching Ace 88, we are back playing Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. Game brought to you by GameAnyone.com. And we need to pick up this parrot chow. I have also in done, uh, put on some, sub some subtitles because I realize that sometimes these guys have accents and it's kind of hard to hear what they have to say. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? Um, I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around. Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island. A fascist dictatorship run by an over-bloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy-to-read reference map. Courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Okay, so where do we want to go at first? Let's check out what it would look like in classic mode. Almost identical. Uh, we are wanting to get, we're going to want to go to head over to Fat Island. And, such as in the uh, indie movies when they are traveling. But of course this is a, a little fun take on this so you're gonna <laughs> it's definitely not gonna be a straight trip oh man this is gonna be good keep going keep going oh it would have been fun to program this just randomly have different directions that it's going Alright, there we go. Fat Island. Properly named as well. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> no, my name is Smith. You must have me confused with someone else. Smith, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification? Why, yes, I... Good heavens! My wallet's been stolen! Of course it has, sir. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. Uh, I'm really very busy. Could we do this another time? It's coming. <laughs> I've come too. Oh my gosh, how could you forget this guy? Well, Mr. Oh, excuse me. It was just that he was way bigger on screen than characters that we generally did. It was like he a small planet. Very much. It was like, yeah, just the enormous. You could, you could have lived inside him. He only animated his like, mouth as well. Yeah. Just kind of a little jiggly thing. One thing that I, I liked, I always liked about Monkey Island was 1 and 2 was was how you're kind of playing this game and almost when you think the game's over it's like then kind of the real game starts it's like you're mm -hmm. spending all this time on Scab Island or on Melee Island and you think you're kind of completing the main objective of the game and then the whole game kind of opens up after that, I always like that and all the uh, RTS elements game. come into it at that point yeah, and the first person shooter stuff I don't know if people discovered that I always love yeah. this poster, I love that, I always like to do that in other, I always want to do that in other games, like every game should have a poster that lists everything that you've done Oh, all the bad things. All the bad things lawyers. you've done, Stealing but like, the monocle, in the voice of the character, in the voice of the... <laughs> See, we're obviously feeling bad about Guybrush's mm -hmm. crimes, because we listed them here on this poster. We did that in, 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 in Tales in the fourth episode, which is the, the trial and execution of Guybrush 3. Okay, that's the you, you get best one. Maybe the best one. Uh, but the, the funnest bit is you get put on trial, and it lists out all the stuff that you did in the first episode. <laughs> all, all the things you're under arrest for this. Ah, oh, that's disgusting. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Can't say as I care much for your method of invitation. I simply wanted to ensure that you didn't slip away before we had a chance to meet. There's something I'd like to discuss. 
such as how much it must cost to keep you in food? Be careful upon whose toes you tread, Mr. Threepwood. I'm sorry, I just meant that you seem to live so well. Ah, I see. I admit my tastes run to the expensive. Uh. To the expansive is more like it. I am not a patient man, Mr. Threepwood. Yes, I've had to indulge in a bit of creative financing. But I've just made a deal that will keep the bill collectors out of here for a long time. Selling your old clothes to make circus tents? I'll be <laughs> selling something which I believe I shall be glad to be rid of. I'm selling you, Mr. Threepwood, to the ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? Could I hide out here for a while? You can hide out until the Chuck comes to pick you up. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? A bounty I intend to collect. Oh. I guess that bounty would buy a lot of bacon grease and pure fat, huh? Why, you... You can figure it out while you wait in jail for LeChuck to pick you up. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Governor Come on, you little weasel. Look at that, man. That is nasty. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, well, I'll be back to relieve you at 11. Alright, now I'm gonna listen to the audio. It's always really hard, uh, you know, to design these puzzle things where he's confined in one room. Because it's like everything on him and you have to figure out how to do it and all of and the solutions. And if it's too hard, are, it's just you're stuck in a you're tight, stuck, tiny yeah. room. But if it's too easy, it's a gimme puzzle and it's just not interesting. There's, there is something comforting about the fact that, you know, you can't go anywhere, so you know all your assets are right there. If there is some way out. Like you, it's, it's no Unless way. You're playing like, oh, Sierra I didn't game. pick something then up three rooms away. I've got to go get need. there. Right. Without the, without the pencil. Oh man, gotta love it. Gotta love it, man. All right. I hope I don't have to sleep here. Uh, let's pull. Yes. Pick up the stick. I can't reach it. What if? It's a stick. Oh, something I did learn a little bit about, what's it called? Oh, this little scene here, I was reading up about it, is that this was based off of uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at Disneyland, which I've been on many a times, and that's supposed to be like Walt the Dog. So if you've ever been on that ride in Disneyland, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But we Watch go. me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. <laughs> Oops. Oh, well. It's a tibia. It's a stick. You doggy doggy. Here, boy. Aww. Let's pick up this key. Let's use the key. Nice. Mr. Willy Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. <laughs> Mr. Willy Gorilla, arrested for grinding his organ in public. There's a banana in here and an organ. Hey, that <laughs> tickles. Woof. Hello, inventory, baby. Loving it. Let's head out. Let's uh, look at this poster. Wanted, Guybrush Threepwood. Hey, that's me. 
for the murder of G.P. LeChuck, also for the use of witchcraft on the person of Largo Legrand, the thievery of clothing and medically prescribed hair supplements for such witchcraft, grave robbing, trespassing, larceny without a permit, exceeding allowable FDA limit for rodent parts in Vichyssoise, unauthorized <laughs> exiting from a penal institution, and releasing a dangerous reptile in a populated area. Also wanted for questioning regarding the disappearance of prescription eyewear. Reward offered for information leading to the suspect's apprehension. Threepwood is to be considered armed and dangerous. Armed and dangerous? Right on! <laughs> After all that, that's what he looks... That's what he gets. Alright, let's check this guy out. If I could read, I'd spend all my free time at the Fat City Library. Reginald Blackbeard. Uh, no thanks. I've got enough trouble in this town. Uh, no thanks. I've got enough trouble in this town. Okay, if you say so, buddy. Which means we're not going to be able to get over there. <laughs>